Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And on the way home from my last car story, I happened to see Ryan and I pulled up against him. Ryan, what's your last name? McKenzie. Ryan McKenzie. And Ryan, what kind of car did you just purchase? A 1960 Cadillac 62 Series DeVille. And why this car out of all the cars in the world? Because I've wanted it since I was five years old. This is a great car. Same color I had as a kid. And you a toy car. And, and how, how long have you had this one? Two weeks. Let's take a look at the car. So Ryan, step right alongside me and let's take a look at the car you've always wanted. First of all, congratulations on getting your car that you've always wanted. I love when people hit their goals. And what a dream car this is. Now, when did you first see the 62 series Cadillac? I was five years old and I had a classic toy one. And that was it? Yep. And I love the bullets in the grill. We've got the dual headlights. Now, we've got wonderful fender ornamentation. Now let's come on over here. One of the things is that wonderful emblem there. Now you have, these are not the stock rims. No. These are the, uh, what do they call them? Kelsey Hayes or something exactly. like that? Exactly. But don't they look great on this car? That's wow. pizzazz. It adds pizzazz. This is kind of like putting sprinkles on a donut. <laughs> that, I am still walking back, and I'm just gonna let you meditate on that. So you've had the car for two weeks. Yes. You've already had it in this parking lot for, let's just say, 10 minutes. And we've already had how many people come up to you besides me who jumped out of the car and said, let's do this? Three. Three. <laughs> let's go. So you're getting a flavor that this is already an instant friend maker. Wherever you go, stay with me for a second. I want to just show those tail fins. The weapons? The weapons. I like it. Come on back with me. Let me show the back of this car. The weapons. Now, when you were playing with this car as a kid, you obviously took good care of it, and it must have been something special to you. Do you have brothers or sisters? My brother. Did he have cars too? Um, I called him yesterday and told my bot this. What was his reaction? He said, was it white with red interior? I said, yes. He goes, the same as the plastic one. He remembered it <laughs> <Absolutely>. all that <laughs> time. Can we open the trunk? Because your trunk is special on this one. Now, when did you find this one? Uh, about four weeks ago. Was it a California car? Newport Beach. Newport Beach. Part of a $50 million car collection. And this one is now yours. First of all, again, congratulations. I will right, we'll shut that. Let's take a look at our... Uh, I call this the jewelry. on it and it's just wonderful let's open up the interior shall we now first of all I mean that's that's sizable right there I mean there's a hand you're you're right you've got depth to this car and look at the beauty of the design of even the door interior and I want to get even closer because look at the scripting the wonderful, this car was incredibly well taken care of. Now this is not the interior that came with this car, is that correct? It was red interior, but this was done uh, two weeks before I got it. Wow, it is really, really special. So, all right, let me take that out. And we've got the power brakes. They were uh, converted to uh, front discs. And, and then drums in the back. When I open up the engine compartment, let's make sure that we beep the horn too, because Cadillac at that time frame always had a wonderful horn. Yeah. Well, I'm while I'm still doing the interior, we can open that up. Uh, 
Go ahead. You wanted to share something with me. You want to stop? No, go ahead. Uh, well, like, you can see that the rug is torn up. One of the things you get when you buy an older car is yeah. things break. The week I got it, the heater core leaked. So I just shampooed the rug, had new heater core being made, and it'll get put back in. Let's do it. Let's, uh, oh, that's wonderful. Pretty clean. Very clean. You can clean. see they changed it to uh, dual brake lines, which the original one only had a single line. Okay. So you have some nice tactfully done upgrades to this car. The other thing is a tactfully done upgrade is the uh, alternator I just had put in. It, this car still came with a generator, and mm. when it idled, it just sucked up battery uh, oh, okay. juice. So by changing the alternator to one that'll throw amps, you don't need the generator, it keeps the car running. That was a good idea. And I'm noticing it still has all the cues of the original gas filter. Yeah. And just even the badging on the oil breather there. I'll get a picture of that tight. And the heavy duty piece here. We've got lots of room here. Here's our horns. We've also got nice original tag there. Let's fire up, shall we? Trumpet sound. No, the, uh, the horn. Nice. Not as good as the 68. <laughs> Let me get the exhaust at idle. And you can see the two strips coming out. Ryan, this has more of the sound of a boat. It does, and it drives like one. I mean, it actually sounds like a boat from that time for a period on the water, just idling. Give it a rev, please. Let's shut it down for a moment. Ryan, first of all, thank you for trusting me enough to say, okay, I'll jump out with Lou and do a My Car Story. You'll appreciate that and see all the other great channels, cars on the channel. Um, first of all, what a wonderful sound. It's great. Doesn't it? I mean, it really has that sound of a boat. It sounds like it's at the harbor and it's ready to leave. And when you drive it, you feel like you're on the water because it's such a soft ride. Yeah. And I mean, anything else that I need to know about this car before I, I let you go back on your journey? No, nothing else. That's all right. it. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to see all the other cars. Ryan! Thank you for trusting me and jumping out and doing an instantaneous My Car Story with Lou. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Take care.